Welcome to another tutorial video. This time around, once again, I'm gonna give you a quick tip that takes less than 10 minutes to set up and is gonna save you hours of time each week in Excel. This tutorial is actually a follow-up to a previous tutorial on how to optimize PowerPoint shortcuts and your PowerPoint setup, and the idea is very similar. The problem is that in Excel, many shortcuts you use all the time in pitch books, case studies, stock pitch presentations, valuations, all sorts of files are very difficult to access. For example, it is surprisingly annoying to actually color code a set of cells with the built-in shortcuts and apply the proper formatting. Here's an example. Let's say you have something that looks like this. So this is a header in an Excel file for subscription revenue, the year numbers, historical and projected, and units. Now to actually fix this and make it look like something reasonable, you have to enter a whole set of commands to do it. First off, you have to change the fill color of the background, which is Alt H H in Excel and change it to blue. Then you have to change the font color, which you can do by going to Alt H F C and then selecting white from there. And then you have to go in and you have to change the borders. And to do this, there are a couple ways, but you can go to Alt H B M for more borders right here. And then you have to press Alt-B to remove the bottom border, go to Alt-C for color, and then select white, and then re-add the bottom border, and then do the same thing for the vertical border going down this way. And when you finish, it'll look something like this. Now, this may not seem like a problem to you, but the problem is that you're gonna be entering these commands a whole lot in Excel, which means that you are going to be using three or four keystrokes to accomplish a lot of this. Now, you may think that you're gonna use Excel for complex formulas and financial models all the time, but that's actually not the case at all, especially as an intern or an entry-level analyst or associate, you're gonna spend a lot of time on formatting and sorting data, and that's really where most of the annoying and cumbersome shortcuts in Excel are. Now, admittedly, there are fewer annoying and cumbersome shortcuts than in PowerPoint, and you also use a wider variety of shortcuts in Excel. So, there isn't quite as much room to improve your speed as there is in PowerPoint, but there are still definitely some things you can do to make yourself a whole lot faster. Our preferred solution, once again, is the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, the Quick Access Toolbar in Excel refers to this area in the ribbon menu. Right below the ribbon menu here, you see the second area, and you can enter all these commands by pressing the Alt key and then the command number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can access this in Excel by going to Alt T O for options and then quick access toolbar right here. And then you could choose the commands that you enter here. Now for a command to make sense in this menu, it has to be a very common shortcut. It has to be somewhat long and cumbersome to enter. Existing control shortcuts aren't good candidates for this because they're already quite easy and fast to enter. And it also has to be something where the mouse is not easier. Contrary to popular belief, there are some cases where it's actually easier to use the mouse in Excel for certain things. So this has to be something that is best accomplished with a keyboard shortcut, but where an easy and fast built-in one does not exist. We recommend using the one to four positions for the most frequently used commands, and then five through nine, and zero one through zero nine for the less common ones. To make this faster, you can import or export a customized quick access toolbar as well, but your Excel version has to match up. So if you're using Excel 2007 or 2010, it's probably not gonna match ours because we used Excel 2016 for this. If your firm doesn't let you import a customized quick access toolbar, just take a few minutes and set it up yourself. The way our quick access toolbar is set up is something like this. And again, you can go to Alt T O in Excel and go to quick access toolbar and see it right here. To set it up yourself, you can just say choose commands from and then change this from popular commands to all commands and then you can select the ones that you want and just click on add and then move them over to this area so ours has font color font size fill color center borders auto fit column width column width and increase or decrease decimal we think these are the most common commands that don't have good easy built-in shortcuts so that's why we recommend using them now if you want to set this up yourself the easiest way to do it is to click on show more under the YouTube video and then scroll to the bottom under resources and you can grab our exported quick access toolbar right from there. Once you have it, you can go to alt T O in Excel quick access toolbar and then import slash export right here, go to import customization file, and then you can just grab it 
from wherever you download it. Excel-QAT-export.exported UI. So you can go and import it like that. Now, the end result of doing all this to give you a quick example is that your life will become a lot easier and the shortcuts will be a lot faster to enter. For example, font color with the built-in shortcut is Alt HFC. With our version, it's just Alt 1. Font size is Alt HFS. With our version, it's just Alt 2. Fill color, Alt HH. Our version is Alt 3. Center align is Alt HAC. Our version is Alt 4. Borders, Alt HB. We can simplify it down to Alt 5. Auto fit column width, instead of Alt HOI or Alt OCA, it's just Alt 6. And then column width, instead of Alt HOW, is just Alt 7. So in general, we've reduced these down from three or four keystrokes to two in each case. Now, this takes about one minute to set up if you import our quick access toolbar, or maybe up to 10 minutes if you have to set it up yourself. And it's going to save you hours of time each week. For example, let's say that you get a messy, poorly formatted Excel file from an intern, or even worse, from a former consultant who's now going into banking. Here's what it looks like. And it matches what we have in our Excel file right here. Now, to fix this, here's what it should look like when you're done. You should have the correct fill color, the correct font color, the correct borders. And then in the area with the numbers, you want blue for hard-coded numbers and then black for the actual formulas. And you also want the correct number of decimal places and the correct column widths. Now, if you want to do this using the built-in shortcuts, you'd have to do, go through a process similar to what I showed you before, where you select the whole thing and then you go to Alt HH to change the fill color. And then you go to Alt HFC to change the font color and you go through all that. Of course, there's a much faster way to do it, which is our approach with these built-in shortcuts. To change the fill color, you can just go to Alt 3 and then select blue. Alt 1 to change the font color and change it to white. For the borders, you can go to Alt 5, M for more borders, Alt B to remove it, Alt C to select the color, and then Alt B to put it in place again. For the vertical border, Alt 5, M, remove the right border, change the color of the border to white, and then Alt R to include it again. So we have that. And then to fix everything here, we can go to Alt 9 and press Alt 9 twice. That fixes the decimal places. And then here, we can go to Alt 7 and we can change this to 10.57 or some number that's less than what we had previously. And now our column widths look correct as well. Now, in case you weren't keeping track of the number of keystrokes there, it took eight separate commands to fix that. We had one fill command, two font color commands, two border commands, two decimal place commands, and then one column width command. So in total, we had 27 keystrokes if you use the built-in Excel shortcuts, but with our version, we actually only use 16 keystrokes to fix this entire file. Now that's not quite correct because we had some additional business with the borders going on, but just to access the borders menu is what I'm counting here. So you could say that we get around 30 to 40% fewer keystrokes depending on exactly what you count. And as an added bonus, the QAT keystrokes that we set up are much easier to access. Alt-1, Alt-2, are far easier to access and you don't have to twist your hand around to get to them. So in short, the built-in Excel shortcuts are often cumbersome and time consuming to access. The better solution is to create custom shortcuts for the most common commands and then add them to the quick access toolbar. We recommend downloading and importing our file below this video, go to show more and then scroll to resources at the bottom, download the file and import it from there. Or if you can't do that, create your own QAT shortcuts in the options menu, Alt T O, and then set it up as I showed you before. The result will be at least 30 to 40% time savings, which adds up to hours or potentially even days of time saving each week, depending on what you're doing at work.